In this video, we will uh, see how can you reconfigure your Redis cluster using kubedb ops request. And uh, let's head over to my workstation. So here you can see that I have already I provisioned a database. The version is 6.2.5 and database status is ready. So database is ready to accept connection. So when we create a Redis uh, object, you can give certain configurations to operate uh, the database. So let's have a look at the configuration. So here you can see I have a default.con file in the mounted in the pod. So let's look at the configuration file. Here you can see some of the configuration currently this database is, is using. So the directory is slash data append only yes and uh, the port and the cluster node timeout is set to 5000 and we have require pass and uh, master auth. So we have the passwords and um, now let's say you want to change some of this configuration or add new configuration to the database. So what you need to do is you can uh, create a new configuration and you can create a secret from that configuration. And after that, you can apply a ops request to uh, to update cast current current configuration to the new configuration. So I have already created a secret from configuration. So let's have a look at this configuration. So as you can see, the name is updated custom config, and uh, we will look at the configuration in a minute. So let's apply the YAML. Here you can see uh, I have deployed a reconfigure ops YAML and he, uh, in the ops requests uh, space, you can see the ops request is progressing and the type is reconfigured as, uh, and uh, you can see the ports is restarting because uh, the, uh, the pod will be restarted with the new configuration. Now let's have a look at the new configuration and the ops request YAML. So here uh, you can see the I have uh, three configurations. So one of the configuration I want to update. So cluster node timeout was 5,000 uh, in the previous configuration. Uh, it is default value. Now I want to update this value to 6,000. And uh, replica display sync is, uh, I want to set this value to no because uh, when this value set to no, the display sync won't happen so that uh, every time replica want to sync it will first update a disk then it will transfer the replicate over the network and uh, when you have fast network then and slow disk then you can set this value to yes and a uh, replica thing replica period is 500 so this means that when a master is not uh, responding to the ping of replica for 500 millisecond the replica will think that this master is dead then uh, it will uh, start a failover election so using this configuration, I have created a secret and that secret name is, uh, as we have seen, updated custom config. And using this updated custom config secret, uh, we will uh, update our database. So here you can see the ops request spec in the metadata section, we have name and namespace and the namespace should be same as the database namespace. In the database reference, we want to uh, refer, we, are, we, given, we have given the name of the database uh, in which we want to update this configuration and in the configuration field uh, we have a field named config secret and in here we have uh, given the secret so let's have a look how things are going there uh, so uh, here you can see this database space is still progressing so uh, the what our ops manager operator will do is it will uh, restart all the ports to reflect this configuration so first these uh, the our uh, our ops manager operator will update this configuration in the pod level, then each pod will be restarted to reflect these changes. And uh, let's say you don't want to update a whole configuration, uh, you only append one line configuration. In that case, you don't need to create a secret, you can only uh, apply ops request, that is uh, inline con reconfigure. Using that, you can append one line use it with your uh, existing configuration. So here you can see the field are same as the previous, only in the configuration field, uh, there is a new field that is inline config. In the inline config, you you need to uh, give the configuration line you want to add. So here, I, uh, if you, if I want to uh, set the RDB computation to yes, I can just uh, apply this YAML and it will be added to the existing configuration. 
Okay, so uh, the ports are still restarting. Some of the ports have been restarted. So the cluster shard 0001, both of them have been restarted as we can see from the edge and other are being restarted. So let's have a look one of the restart ports to see what, what happened in the configuration. So let's, uh, let's change the directory to this. And now you can see along with the default.conf, uh, we have another configuration that is uh, redis.conf. So let's have a look at this default.conf first. Here you can see all the configuration is uh, same as the previous one. And in the end, we have one line that is to include another configuration. So uh, how Redis will uh, apply this configuration is first it will uh, add all this configuration, then it will go to the next file and add configuration from that file. So let's have a look at that file. So here you can see uh, this is the configuration we wanted to add. So the cluster node timeout is updated and two new configuration is added. So as you can see cluster node timeout is uh, appear twice here because first it is uh, it is updated from default configuration then we want to change that so what happened is uh, redis will uh, consider the value appeared later in this uh, in this way so first it will uh, it will operate in the default.conf it will uh, it will take configuration from default.conf then it will uh, update it will take the configuration from redis.conf file so the cluster node uh, timeout should be set to uh, 6000 we can uh, have a look by config get so as you can see uh, if we apply config get in the cluster node timeout the cluster node timeout value is set to 6000 so uh, with that you can see that uh, our database phase is ready and the reconfigure ops request is successful so uh, all the ports have been successfully restarted and the configuration is updated so in this way you can add uh, one line configuration or new configuration to your existing database and uh, we will look at the uh, version upgrade of request next stay tuned thank you